I messed up and now you're gone. From our ultimate house, we are headed on our railway. So I'm not going to go inside there, but this is basically just a railway, and I put some nice clay around it. But we'll just do the speed it up version. So the railroad goes all the way over here. We have a bunch of our horses named after one of my favorite soccer players back in the day. We have a nice little functioning barn with a rough little chicken sitting up there. We have our cows and all sorts of wonderful creatures. So we're just going to follow this railway as the rest of the map loads. There's an energy when you hold me, when And then we reach this massive air pad. And so this was like our little airport sort of like airline thing that we had an idea of making and this thing goes in and out or actually this guy it lets you go in and out just like the boarding thing on um, in any airport uh, this is a fully functional airport this is for your uh, baggage so your baggage would go uh, through this way but let me show you the other side because that's the more interesting part in my uh, opinion so you find the entrance so the entrance should be Somewhere here. Let's go this way. Oh no, I'm okay. I'm trying to figure out how to get in. Be quiet! I'm just gonna make a hole. What will you learn? What will you learn? Oh. That your actions have consequences! So basically, what you do is you're gonna come over here, you're gonna get your ticket, you're gonna come through this door. Once you come through that door, you're going to get some food maybe, you can order here, you can get your pharmacy products, you can wait in line, and then your baggage, or you will go, um, be quenched! So I'm going to head back out. Just get out of there. Okay. And now this is the giant project. The giant project. Before we get to that, that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna look at this really quick. So we have our little. Um, we have our little uh, hotel, and then we have our little shelters. So you can be a guest here. You can enter. Now this project actually took quite a long time. So we enter in. We're gonna run on over to here. We are gonna pick up a ticket. We can grab four tickets and, or we can consult the help center, but we will just go over here. We'll grab our tickets. So we'll grab our tickets. We can head back out there. go this way. We can put our tickets in there. Then we'll be allowed in. Now we can choose which location we want based on what we choose. So I'm gonna say I want to go to the... let's say I want to go to the... I'm gonna say I want to go to the... Uh, Lighthouse. So I'm gonna pull, go there. I need to pull down some sort of lever. Let me figure out where that lever is. Pull down that lever. Then I'm gonna get a mine cart. Type that in mine cart. And with that, I'm gonna press it one more time. So this guy will take us, look at that system we have there. So it'll take us, there's a bunch of different routes inside there, but this is going to take us on the pre-selected way we want it to go. So I'm going to just speed it up a little bit by using the control key. And we're going down in the, to the very depths of this entire world. 
I've let, let it up, used redstone, used this track. Um, we're several feet below ground, but this is just a really cool program because we were able to, you, uh, you click uh, each button to go a different place. You can go to the White House, you can go to the Harry Potter Stadium, you can go to the emergency shelter, you can go to the Ultimate House, you can go to a bunch of different locations and it will track you to a different track. So this took several hours of putting signs everywhere, making the tracks themselves, and then rewiring the entire Union Station to get you to the right location. So we're just going to go as fast as we can. Uh, I think I'm going to ditch the line cart for a little while. Oh, let me get out of here. Uh, it's kind of taking a long time. So, oh, I accidentally broke some more track there. I'm going to get out. I'm just going to speed up the rest of the route for us. We can go up here. We can go down here. We'll keep on going. This is just a little bit faster just for time's sake because I know we are on a little bit of a time crunch. But I, I started playing this game uh, back in, I want to say the 70s and I played it until like the 8th day. Um, it was a year of adventure, a year of fun. I know a lot of people play Fortnite now. I actually haven't played Fortnite at all. I'm not much of a gamer at all anymore. But this was definitely all the rage when it came out. I remember taking it in um, seventh grade drinking class, I believe. And that really sparked the adventure for me, I guess. Okay, so we get here and it says middle for lighthouse. So I'm gonna go, oh, there's a dog. So I'm just gonna go, oh. Up this way to it said middle for lighthouse, so I'm gonna go lighthouse this way. I'm gonna follow that route. It's good that we have the sign still operating because then I would have no idea where to go. Follow this way away, follow the way away. Wow, that takes quite a while to get to the lighthouse, but almost there. And there we are, we are at the lighthouse. You can stop here, you click that button, and then Join the lighthouse for a nice little adventure. Okay. Thank you guys for coming. That was quite the adventure. I really uh, enjoy looking back at my past projects, especially with the Union Station. S took a lot of time, and I'm sort of glad I did it because it's nice to look back at it and get the memories. But thank you guys for watching. It's been Jessica Chiraboga for the THS Torch and Shield. Take me in, smoke, breathe me in.